Meow. Hello. This is our last part of building a solar kiln based on the Genetech documentation. We insulated the walls with glass wool and because of that I had to use a protection suit, gloves and glasses. It was hard to work with those, especially because of the temperature was a bit higher that day, but I managed to finish without breaks. After cutting and installing all the glass wool, we use some plastic sheets to keep the insulation sealed inside the walls. That would also work as a vapor barrier. The next day we used OSB panels to close the interiors of the walls. That took us a bit longer because we reused some panels that we took off from our workshop when we replaced the OSB with wood siding. So we had to adapt panels to fit our kiln works. We made two panels for the fans and cut a hole in each one with a jigsaw. We think two fans should be enough. We can add two more later if we need more airflow.
We painted the side walls and the front one with the black paint. We skipped the node wall on purpose because uh, that wall will be covered with a plastic sheet for the airflow, so it will never be exposed to sun. We screwed in the solar panels from the fans and attached hinges to the panels so we could move them a bit when we attached the baffle for the airflow. So it's finished, all we need now is to fill it with wood and wait for it to dry. We realized later we should uh, paint the top part of the north wall, but we will uh, do that after the first round of wood will be dried. We still have some small stuff to do like the doors for the vents. Paint the kiln on the outside for better look and wood protection, make handles for all doors and the system to fix the middle door in place because right now it's fixed only with some wood screws. We had to put the wood to dry before finishing every detail because we are already late and we need a lot of wood to dry for our next project, our house. We don't have the cost for our kiln because we used a lot of materials we already have like wooden boards and OSB panels, but we estimate about 500 euros for the materials we brought recently, like the wood for structure, polycarbonate sheets, the two solar vents, paint and insulation. So stay tuned and don't forget to press the subscribe button if you want to see us doing more stuff. Thanks for watching, see ya!